can boldly say today that Jamaica is taking drastic action in the fight against this complication of diabetes. Today's launch symbolizes the further strengthening of our relationship with the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust and we look forward to more partnerships like this one for the benefit of the people of Jamaica. Diabetic eye screening is a key part of diabetes care and so the Ministry of Health is extremely pleased to be able to provide this type of specialized care in the southern and the southeast regional health authorities. The program is made possible through the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust along with the London School of Hygiene and the Tropical Medicine in collaboration with the Ministry of Health. The Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust, we were set up by the Commonwealth Heads of Government at their meeting in Perth in 2011. And our purpose was to honour the Queen in 2012 for her 60 years as a Head of the Commonwealth and to deliver one distinctive programme across the Commonwealth that would make a real difference in citizens' lives. So we picked avoidable blindness as the main issue that we'd focus on. And here in the Caribbean, particularly on diabetic retinopathy, I mean, as you know, in the Caribbean, there's a 50% higher rate of diabetes. And as you all know, one of the complications of diabetes is that you can lose your sight. But with regular screening and treatment, this can be prevented. So since we began our program here in Jamaica in 2015, more than 3,500 patients with diabetes have had their eyes screened and over 600 have re received sight-saving treatment. That is fantastic and it's such a, a wonderful, wonderful thing that you've done here and that now you're going to expand it to make a difference to more people living in Jamaica. And I'm so pleased that here in Jamaica it's being tackled so vigorously through the Jamaica Moves program and is set an example for others. And we look to you to the future to set the standard across this region about what can be done to help people with diabetes retain their sight. As a Ministry of Health, we were not doing enough to deal with eye care in the country. And indeed, under coming out of appreciating and understanding the extent of the problem and the need to do something about it, the Ministry of Health reactivated, under my instructions, the eye care technical working group uh, tasked with the responsibility of developing a national eye care policy and plan. One major challenge was the absence of this national eye care policy and plan. And as a national policy for eye health in, in, is concretized, the following actions are going to be focused on. So through funding from the Queen Elizabeth Jubilee, Diamond Jubilee Trust of the UK, there are also pilot projects in other regions. However, the uptake for screening is still low and we want to appeal to Jamaicans and through the public education program to get more persons on board in terms of screening. And it is our intention to place full efforts in endorsing but also supporting the program as we seek to build out our own internal program and making, therefore, eye care a critical part of the holistic approach uh, to public health. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a good day for us, good day for these parts, the citizens who reside in and around this area. And we want to again say a wholehearted thank you for the program uh, as we recognize the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust um, for their contribution.